Cameroon authorities have issued international arrest warrants for 15 leaders of an Anglophone separatist party, the Southern Cameroon National Council. The government accuses the group of being behind rising violence in the northwestern and southwestern regions. The two areas, known as Anglophone Cameroon, have been at the heart of clashes between pro-government forces and secessionists. Now, joining us to share his thoughts on this is editor, Green Vision newspaper, and also human rights activist, Yannick Fonke. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure. Well, the government denies allegations of discrimination. Do you believe this? Um, I, because I'm a journalist on the ground, mm. and we have been covering and uh, seeing gross violation of human rights um, by the paramilitary and also by forces of law and order. Uh, we, we have made um, several calls, potential calls to the government uh, to see how to affect uh, dialogue with warring factions especially as the common man is the one suffering and uh, going through all the ordeals. Uh, but then uh, the government uh, somewhat uh, heeded to a few calls and sent a delegation to the Northwest and the Southwest regions uh, to uh, gather information as to what the people wanted. And it would appear uh, the delegation at the end of the mission gathered that the people wanted federation, federalism, uh, that for the Northwest. And for the Southwest region, the delegation gathered that they wanted the effect, uh, the, the putting into place of the 1996 constitution, which uh, talked about a decentralization for the 10 states. So, uh, but then at the moment, no, no concrete action has been taken by the government. Uh, things look so gloomy. But then we still see crackdown from here or there from the government. And we were uh, very surprised to see the government sending the names of 15 so-called secessionists to be arrested or to be extradited by the International Criminal Police Organization, commonly known as Interpol. And the question is, besides the killing of um, two or more officers last week, why else were uh, these 15 um, um, leaders put on international arrest warrant? Well, I want to make this very clear that um, the arrest warrant as heralded by some newspapers, because the government has not made any official declaration as to that regard. We're only getting media reports. The arrest warrants had already been prepared even before we had these pockets of killings from uh, on the part of uh, unknown people on the paramilitary. So uh, the government is, is a, a, a alleging these so-called cessationists to, to have masterminded the, uh, the illegal protests in the Northwest and the Southwest region, instability in the two regions, and most uh, especially the fact that uh, the people of the Northwest and Southwest region no longer respect their local authorities, authorities that were placed by the government. They now respect the traditional authorities and the people out of the country. So the government is looking at these people out of the country to be somewhat threats and so are calling for them to be brought to book so that the people of the Northwest and Southwest region will once again respect the local authorities. I just want to indicate to you that um, for a very long time now, since 20, uh, since the beginning of this year, I want to say, we've been ex experiencing ghost towns. That's been the, the uh, strong weapon used by the local people to uh, highlight their voices to the government. We've been having ghost towns on Mondays, and no work, it, it would appear no economic activities take place. Uh, and even though the local authorities have pleaded with the people to stop ghost towns and send children back to school, this pleas seem not to be getting into the ears of the people. So the government is, is seeing that there are some of the groundwork that are perpetrated by especially these 15 people who have been indicated or have been, whose name have been given to international police uh, to arrest and extradite, to be the masterminder of these activities taking place in the Northwest and the Southwest region. 
Uh, but then well, the killing Yannick, of this, Yannick, uh, I, I must, I must um, yes. interrupt you now. With all this unrest now in Cameroon and with demands for independence, do you see Cameroon remaining one entity? Um, that question is on a balance at the moment because um, being on the ground and seeing activities taking place, it would appear the people of the Northwest and Southwest region are in dire need for the government to, to listen to uh, their grievances. Mm -hmm. And many of the grievances uh, talk about uh, giving them as much opportunities as the faculties do have, as it was inscribed by in the uh, the plebiscite, or rather in the FUMBA conference of 1961. So uh, that has not been given yet. So many uh, dissenting voices from the Northwest and Southwest region are calling for independence, but the government is trying to play it to the gallery on We that. have to leave it there uh, now. Yannick Fonke, yes. editor, Green Vision newspaper and human rights activist. Thank you for your time on TVC News.